What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 20 in the sixth grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that Sam is using the expression m divided by 8n, and 8n is the entire denominator of that, in class. And we're trying to find the value of that expression when m is 4 and n is 1 half. So in order to do really well on a question like this, we'll need to know how to evaluate expressions and also how to use order of operations to figure out the exact number value of an expression with multiple steps. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do before I even look at these actual values that it gives me is I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this so that it's all on one line because sometimes it's easier to work with an expression if you do that. And I'm gonna say that instead of a fraction, I'm gonna divide m divided by, and now instead of 8n, I'm going to put a, put a set of parentheses around these, and I'm going to remind myself by writing this out that 8n is the same thing as 8 times n. So now that I have this expression all on one line, I can go ahead and fill in some of the, or I can go ahead and fill in the values of m and n. So instead of m, this is 4. We're still dividing by 8 times something. But that something now is just one half. And now that I can see that I have a multiplying fractions problem, I'm going to call this eight ones or eight holes so that I can go ahead and work through my parentheses first because in order of operations, it goes parentheses, exponents, multiply and divide, add and subtract, you may know the memory trick, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I personally prefer, please expel my disrespectful algebra students. I think that one's a little funnier. But now that, I'm, now that I can see that we have eight ones times one half in parentheses, I can go ahead and just figure out what that is. So eight ones times one half. If I multiply across my numerators and across my denominators, 8 times 1 gives me 8. 1 times 2 gives me 2. This is 8 divided by 2, which I can simplify or just plug into my calculator and get an answer of 4 for that. So now that I've evaluated this entire set of parentheses to be equal to 4, this expression now becomes 4 divided by 4. And this one, th this is a doozy. The answer is 1. So since my answer is 1, I come down to my grid boxes, I write the number 1, I find the 1 bubble underneath it, and I bubble that in, and that's it. 